Good evening. Sunday evening in the meth end of town. The days are getting longer. It's brighter out. It's quite nice. The weather's not bad. Got some Copenhagen wintergreen sent to me by the one and only Bone Daddy. Thank you for that. Mm. Okay. So I just made a, another video about a half hour ago that I deleted because uh, I deviated from what I wanted to talk about in a, in a big in a big way, which I'm often to do um but uh, i want to talk about um there's just been a lot of artistic stuff going on in my life lately you know i've been seeing art i've been doing art i've been you know making records and music and saw my friends show the other night and uh you know Art's always, our artistic endeavors are always a big part of my life, you know? And, uh, anyhow, I'm lucky enough to be, uh, involved in a, in a recording, uh, company from Pittsburgh, uh, called Merkwood Recordings right now. And, uh, Merkwood Recordings, I've talked about many times here. They do uh, <clears throat> uh, digital downloadable albums for people, bands, such and so forth. It's all free. I don't make any money. Nobody makes any money. It's a whole labor of love thing. But what it means is that you get a lot of cool free music if you have got the gumption to check it out. Now, <clears throat> the stuff I do on the label is kind of, it's kind of bluesy or garage rocky or whatever. I'm kind of the anomaly to the label, it seems most of the stuff on the label is kind of more uh, kind of North American post-punk kind of sounding stuff. You know, like, uh, you know, like if you're a fan of bands like Fugazi or, or Husker Du or, um, you know, I'm not even familiar with a lot of 90s-ish bands, but uh, very cool very like kind of art artsy punk rock kind of stuff it's a, a, takes up a good lot of label or like beautiful songwriting song crafting kurt gainford beautiful songwriter and also the mastermind behind a few of the bands on the label and the mastermind behind the label itself um yeah there's lots of great stuff uh ben varga uh uh, Dune, Dune Kunkel, uh, geez, you know, like, yeah, Stands in Lightning, uh, Steve, uh, Surrounded by Mice, uh, uh oh, I just, I, I gotta write things down in front of me, just everything on the label I've heard, I like, okay, now, <clears throat> I recently did a label, a, a little EP with uh, my man Bone Daddy out of Texas there, and who I talk about all the time. Sends me amazing harmonica microphones. Dude, this little fucker here, oh baby, it's a monster. Um, yeah, Bone Daddy and I work together in a few capacities. One of them being uh, in the world of harmonica microphones and such and so forth, and one of them being in the music world. Uh, we are constantly boosting each other, boosting each other's stuff up and stuff like that. And 
you know, we did it. We recently recorded a little EP together because kind of what we do is kind of similar. It's very different, but it's kind of similar. You know, it's very lo-fi blues, blues kind of oriented music. Uh, a lot of slide guitar um, emphasis on the lo-fi. You know what I mean? Um, it's not exactly the same, which is good because shouldn't I, you know everybody should have their own voice. But it goes well together, I think. Um, and I've heard a lot of positive feedback on the EP. Regardless of such, <clears throat> the important thing is, is I'm hearing a lot of feedback on the EP. You know, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. You know, like, uh, it doesn't matter if it's good or, good or bad feedback. You know, like, if it's not, a, you know, like there was a fella who wrote a, a review of, of, of the EP on uh, some internet magazine, I think called Skull Records or something like that. And uh, he's, re he's reviewed a couple of my things from Mirkwood. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, like it's record review. It's one guy's opinion. It's like one, one record reviewer's opinion, you know. If I read the review, even though he didn't give us a favorable review, he gave it, it was kind of a, well, this is, what did he say? This is a work of art, but it's not a work of art for me, you know, and fair enough, you know, not everybody likes everybody's stuff, you know, tons of stuff I don't like, you know, <clears throat> and, uh, but the important thing is, is the review got written and, you know, if I read that review, even though what the stuff he said, the, the things that were unfavorable to him were, th would, were things that would make me want to buy the record, you know, because uh, I like different things than what this guy does. And what he sees as <clears throat> a fault in the album, I would see as a positive thing. You know, so that's the important thing is that people are talking about it, you know. One thing I learned from from punk rock from like the, the sex pistols and all that crap cash from chaos you know it doesn't you know all publicity is good publicity you know be it good or bad whatever someone's gonna cause someone's you know if someone gave us the worst ass review the worst like these guys are jive ass fucking winos from the blah 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 whatever this that the other you know Somebody out there is going to read their the review and think these guys sound fucking awesome. I'm going to buy that, you know, or I'm going to download that or whatever, you know. I've done that lots of times. Uh, there's one songwriter in particular. Uh, name's Nix Nix Cranford Nix, I think, uh, sang for a band called the Malacas. You know, I heard nothing but bad reviews about him. I checked him out. He's one of my new favorite songwriters. You know what I mean? So it's all relative. It, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, basically, I'm just saying thanks for if, if the person who reviewed the album uh, is watching this video, which is very unlikely, but if you are, thank you for reviewing the album and uh, thank you for your opinions. Uh, all opinions are welcome and valid in my world uh, concerning my music and the musical endeavors I put my feet into. Uh, I'm just grateful to be able to do them, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm grateful for the people who do them with me, like uh, Bone Daddy out in Texas. I'm fucking so grateful to have met Bone Daddy over the internet here. Uh, the musical connection we have made has 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 given me more than I could ever say in a YouTube video. So thank you, Dan, for that, and to Kurt uh, for Merkwood Recordings for making all that possible. Uh, it's 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 incredible. What 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 has happened to me over the last year uh, musically through social medias here like Instagram and YouTubes and Facebooks and stuff like that is uh you know I've 
I've kind of realized that how to differently play the game. And I've gone from feeling like a washed up done for musician hit middle age in downtown Peterborough to, uh, this is the most vibrant and exciting time of my musical career I've ever had, you know, and I've done, I've done some shit, you know, and, uh, I gotta say, this is a really fucking exciting time for me. So thank you for all of you who make it possible. You know, uh, you, you can't, you can't raise a child without a village. That's what they, what they say, you know. But, um, yeah, Sunday, got a gospel tune up, recorded late last night in a backyard in the dark through my, through my glitchy fucking cell phone app. Probably recorded it before. I apologize for that, but you don't dig it, you don't got to watch it. You know, that's my opinion. But, um, oh, and a shout out, yes, to Chad MB. I forgot to shout out Chad MB in my big shout out list. I'm going to keep adding names as I remember them. Uh, Chad is the owner of the downtown establishment, the Garnet, and uh, he shouted me out on Facebook and <clears throat> he's an all around good guy. And uh, so thank you, Chad, for your support. And, uh, Thank you all for your support. You will watch me here on Dirty Pat Walsh on YouTube. Uh, Hillary posted a really funny picture of a dude in a in a ramen noodle tracksuit on my Facebook page. And man, if I had that tracksuit, that's that's the outfit that's built for me to wear. This boy, I don't know if I'd wear the track pants, but that hoodie, man, a, a top ramen fucking hoodie. Holy shit. I'd be wa I'd be rocking that shit. I I I said I'd silk screen meth end of town motherfucker on the back if I was gonna wear that. So yeah. Excitingness, exciting times here in the meth end of town. Chewing tobacco on a Sunday night. Can you dig it? Anyway, thank you. This video's coming to a close. And we're at twelve minutes and thirty seconds. I get 15 minutes, so maybe I'll just wrap it up a little bit early here. But thank you uh, so much, once again. The Canadian me in me has to say thank you so many times. And uh, be well, stay free, take care. And remember, all publicity is good publicity when you're working in the arts. Because at least people hearing your name, you know what I mean? Be well. Stay free.